Hello, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Colin Penston and I'm the sales manager at Ocean Telecom. Ocean Telecom is a business to business uh, telecom telecommunications provider based over in Bury St Edmunds. Um, we've been going now for about 18 years and we have a dedicated team of highly skilled staff. We aim to provide a first class service at a fair price and we offer a wide range of communication products. Anything from the BT network services, leased lines, broadbands and the old ISDN lines, through to cloud based cloud or on-prem based systems, unified communications and business mobile packages. Basically anything that you can communicate with, you can probably get from us. So what we'd like to talk to you today is a little bit about unified communication collaboration. Now that's the new product available in our marketplace and we've recently taken on a new product called Wildix, which does this incredibly well especially during the coronavirus outbreak. So what is Unified Communications and what does it offer? If you think about the different ways we communicate today, you're using messaging apps such as WhatsApp, uh, Instagram for picture sharing, um, you're using your phone, your PC and your desk phone to communicate with. You've got file sharing to, to share files between, between staff using Facebook, social media, YouTube, LinkedIn, other, other methods like that. Video calling, which is something that's become very popular during this period. And of course, email and voice calls as well. So what Unified Communication brings all of these mediums together into one business application, which is what Wildex has managed to do. It has no software to be downloaded. It's all through a web portal using real-time collaboration. So as long as you've got web access, you can simply log in and your, your, user, your user is live, either on a mobile device, an app, a tablet, PC, Mac, or a desktop phone. We'd like to take you through a, sh a brief demonstration to show you how the software works. So this is the collaboration page showing the live status of all the users. Um, we've got green for available. Um, there's a little clock symbol for away, Jay's on annual leave there, Matt's on do not disturb, and if there was a live call, you'd see a red phone symbol next to, next to that user, so we'll show you that in a minute. Down the right, down the left-hand side, um, you've got, this is all users, but you can break them up into the different groups, so you've got sales or support, so you wouldn't necessarily want to have everyone on here, it could get quite busy if you had 100 or so. So this is how I change my own status, presence, click on the button here and then I can choose if I want to be in available mode instantly changes me and that's across all devices or away and I can put a reason for that away so in conference and it automatically updates that they're set in, in conference. And everyone else's message is here. So Jen's, if I hover over Jen, she's then got, uh, yep, video practice for Colin, but still on annual leave. And then I've got the options of how to get in com contact with her. So I can either call her, open up the chat with her, or click these three dots, and there are some other options. So send an email, phone, mobile, message, or a post-it note. So let's activate a call. Hi Dan, how are you? Good. Brilliant, thanks. Just trying the um, go down for the is bar. So, this is the call pop up and what it looks like. You can click that banner out if you want to. And then you've got some call control features here. So you've got mute, hang up, hold, transfer, record, and then the dial pad here. So this style pad would be really useful for when you have uh, auto attendance to press one for sales, two for service, etc. And then this drop-down arrow here at the bottom, which means we can convert this to uh, a chat, a video call, share screen with that user, add in someone into the conference, and change the device that you take that call on. So I could change it to my mobile and walk away. So let's change this to a video call. Oh, and then you can change the size of this or move it around the, the, de the desktop. And also some core control along the bottom here. Okay, thanks a lot, Jen.
Then along here, we have access to the directory. So we can either type in the user that we want to call, subject chamber. Then in the directory, they'll pop up here. And then you can choose to call them. And if they have more than one device, it will be listed down here. Some of the advanced licenses have this uh, microphone, which is speech to text. So if I click on this, Suffolk Chamber, and it pops up there. So you can just dial them from there. That's the green button to instate the call. And you can choose which device you take that on. Video conferencing, which I'll come back to. Colleagues, this is the view here. The next one is function keys. The function keys are the ones that you select that add onto the mobile app. So you may not want to have all colleagues on your mobile app, but you can control these yourself um, in, the, in, the, in the settings panel. I'll show you that in a moment. And show you the chat. And along the bottom here, I can send either a text, a post-it note, a speech to text again, share a file, So let's show the all important Christmas bake and roll order. And send some emojis. Whilst on this uh, chat, you can then convert this to a call or a video call, and you can add a video conference, bring somebody into a video conference, or, or share the screen with them. And these are the different chats that you've got down the side. There's the, there's the post-it note. Now, post-it note stays on top, so when you go onto another screen, it pops up. So obviously, that can alert the user if you've got a call for them that they've been waiting for. And you can delete like that. So those were the function keys and the chat. And then we've got the phone book, the call history, received, dialed, and missed calls, and voicemail. So this is what the mobile app looks like. You can your own profile at the top, and you can change your status, status there. Simply select from which one of the ones you want to uh, update. And when you press the tick button, that updates you to available. Or if I was going to be in Do Not Disturb, select Do Not Disturb in conference, and I'm now busy. This shows across all my devices. You've then got the visibility of all your other users internally, and these are from the function keys and what status they are in. At the bottom, you've got the ability to select your users or the dial pad, missed calls, phone book internal chat and back to the settings. And that's really the mobile app. We'd also like to tell you about a second product today and that's called web listings. So back in the 1990s if you wanted to find a business you'd use yellow pages. But nowadays, you're using um, search engines online, such as Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Maps, and several, several more. So what Web Listings does is it gives you an online portal to update all of those search engines at the same time with, with correct information to help your customers find you quicker. Here's a short video that will help explain. In the past, your business needed to be listed in the yellow pages. Today, 90% of customers search online for a business like yours. It all starts with a simple search. This is the make or break moment for your business. Where do you end up in the search results? And is your information correct? Complete and consistent information everywhere will place you higher. Otherwise, your rankings will suffer. But manually managing your listings is a difficult task. That's why we've built Web Listings. One single platform for you to add and update all your company information. 
With one click, we will publish this information across all online platforms, all in one go, making sure customers can find you everywhere. And don't forget to keep track of your results. Because web listings will result in more website traffic, phone calls and visitors to your location. New customers are waiting for you, so get started. So, I hope some of that has been of interest today. Uh, and if you'd like to talk to us about unified communication and collaboration, anything with telecoms related or web listings, please do get in touch at oceantelecom.com. Thank you.